Nestled in historic downtown Apex, there's a place where you can experience the wonders of craft beer. Enjoy a wide selection of beers from North Carolina, the U.S., and around the world. And it's only at the Beer Dispensary. Hi, I'm Lance. This is Dave. We're NC Beer Guys. We promote NC Craft Beer online at ncbeerguys.com. We do these videos in addition to the great beers available across the state, maybe to a new brewery you don't know about, maybe to a new brewer who's come up with something exceptional. And today... What well, does it have to be exceptional? If it's on NC Beer and we drink it, it's exceptional. Well, it's always exceptional, then. Uh, and today, we're coming up with something brand new and in, reported to be a new style of beer out of Durham. Yep. So we'll, we will uh, comment on that later. But today we're drinking the Bull City Bourbon Brewery Dermer Ale, a new style of beer, they say. So uh, Seth Gross of Bull City tells us this is, quote, a new style of beer from the ground up and Durham's signature flavor. The premier batch of Dermer, and this is the first run, is brewed with biscuity malt, North Carolina grown hops, Durham water, and is reminiscent of burly air cured chestnut colored tobacco. Okay. So we hope that's in the color, not the taste. The, the, malts, the malts lead a biscuit crust flavor, and the NC hops add aroma and a mild hop bite. This beer was created to be very approachable for craft beer drinkers of all walks, emphasizing malt flavors versus fashionable hoppy bitterness, commonly found today. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Mm hmm. Drinkable, not hoppy. Uh, we didn't want to add a suffix or a prefix to a known style, but chose to start from the ground up. Use our local resources. Styles have been created around the world by using local ingredients and then defined by tradition. Mm -hmm. Taste the birth of a new beer right here in Durham. Soon, other Durham brewers will be brewing their versions. And maybe one day, our city will join the ranks of Berliner Weiss, Berlin, uh, Dortmunder, which is apparently a city in Germany, mm -hmm. and Pilsner, for Pils. So, we have a brand new beer drink today, and uh, reportedly, we're not signing on yet to the brand new style. We don't know how much of a new style it is. We will tell you in a minute what we think it's like. Okay. Uh, but it is being marketed as a brand new style of beer from right here in Durham. That's cool. So while you pour, it's uh, got hops of Nugget, Mount Hood, and Willamette. Comes in at 5% ABV. He says the color is burly chestnut brown, ABV of 5.2, IBU only 25. Well, yeah. And uh, it's ale yeast for, the, for you brewers out there. And uh, while they finishes our pour, in case you guys don't know about Bull City, Bull City is located, locally owned an independent restaurant and craft brewery located at 107 East Parish Street in downtown Durham. They opened in 2011. Restaurant serves lunch and dinner seven days a week. Great food over there. You had your birthday burger like just like today, actually. Yep. And uh, if you sign up for their uh, partnership renew newsletter rewards program, you get a burger on your birthday month. Yep. Right. Uh, restaurant, I said, serves lunch and dinner seven days a week. About 90 seats inside, 50 seats outside, year round patio, family friendly, children's play area, private meeting room for business gatherings, events, and presentations all within full view of the brewery. Yep. So uh, you should check out the Bull City Burger and Brewery if you haven't. And if you're not a beer drinker, go for the food. Oh, yeah. But if you are a beer drinker, you'll have an excellent pairing and matching. And they had a lot of variety there. They do have a lot, you know, they, today they had six of their you, you know, they're so, a little under the radar. You don't hear as much about Bull City right. as, as you might some other breweries, uh, but they do great work. And I guess it's because you, you can get them in growlers at some of the bottle shops, mm -hmm. but I think it's more of what's becoming when we have a ton of breweries that are going to open up, that the breweries themselves, which they already are destinations, but it's going to the point that if you want that beer, you're going to have to go to that brewery because places only have a limited amount of taps That's and right. bottle shops only have a limited amount of shelf space. And, and as you're and, saying, more and more as the competition's out there for tap space and accounts, yeah. out, out accounts, just people are going to go local. Yeah. They're going to keep their stuff, they're going to brew great stuff, but it'll be, you go into that facility and drink it, enjoy it on premises, That's right. and it may be your local hangout because you may live nearby, sure. or it may be a destination for beer, for yep. the experience, and then you go when you can in that town, Right. but it won't be like you can pick it up easily 
uh, anywhere in the state or something and, like and that. And it become more of a demand thing that you can only, if, when you love that beer, you have to go to the brewery to get it. That's right. Which I think will now keep up, the demand will grow because of the demand of wanting it and having to go to get it as opposed to being in 30 shops around the state where it's available readily. That's you have right. to go there and that's what's going to be really good. And there's a certain mystique that grows up around the beers that are a little, a little more effort to get. So yeah, that's, that's right. Yep. So talk about the packaging. So this is a crowler, and we've done this before, mm -hmm. but what they're doing now because of, instead of having a glass, well, you have growler at 64 ounce in North Carolina, uh, and now you can, well, we used to call growlets. Well, and you see the half, what we call half growlers, but they, they go by different little yeah, cute, cute names. Different names, but I, we call them growlets. But now what they're doing, because of glass, now you have it in cans, and the process, which comes from Oscar Blues, uh, to basically get your beer inside of a can, which is recyclable, uh, stores better for them, and plus it lasts longer. And they fill, um, they fill it up on site. Yes. As you, and so this, in case, in case you can't really see, it's a generic kind of a can label, and then they stick. Well, actually, they don't they, all they, do they, that. Well, they did have, yeah, they did have a couple of their beers did have the oh, their, oh, individual, the individual, 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 individual yeah this one particular just had the label well, for one thing it's so fresh brand new right but more and more i know a uh, wilmington brewing company does it yep uh, more and more the people who want you to have some capacity to take their beer home right. but yet don't have distribution and aren't big uh, growler fans or mm -hmm. glass fans or for whatever reason right a big reason is it's portable it is functional and the refrigerator is better. Mm -hmm. uh, so the can, it's like a, just a super sized can. And yep. It's great. And, and they've got one today, so we're going to see what we think. Yep. So let's see what we think of this new style beer. Well, it's, it's ruby red. It is burly chestnut brown. Okay, well then I'm off. <laughs> I'm seeing a little bit. No, it could be now, the, now you, you're looking through it. You non native Carolinian, you probably don't know what burly tobacco is. Well, I know what tobacco is. It's, but <laughs> there's a difference. Okay. And where I come from in the eastern part of the state, right. that was flu cured. Burley tobacco is the mountain tobacco, oh. and it cured to okay. a different color. Okay. Ours was lighter brown, okay, nice. and, and this is darker brown. This is okay. more like the dark burley tobacco, okay. which is a different strain of tobacco. Okay. Well. But I mean, nobody needs to know that. Cool. Really. But, it, but it does, it actually, it, they hit it pretty good. It's darker than a gold. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but still, you can see through it, so it's not like a nut brown. It's not, yeah, it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't have the color of a brown. Right. I'm, I'm, I got some red in there. Which, yeah, there it is. That's right. That's yeah. right. So, what do you smell? Not a lot. I mean, uh, I really don't get a lot. I, I'm getting some, some biscuit, some maltiness. I'm getting some malt. I'm getting yeah. some malt aroma out of this one. No hops, no aroma. No at all. hops. Cool. Well, and, and I didn't expect some something this. I mean, I can't say by color that this something this dark wouldn't be hoppy, but right. This kind of beer mm -hmm. i wouldn't want to be overly hopped and at 25 i you don't expect no. to, to pick up any aroma so it's very smooth very smooth nice light multi flavor yes a little bit of caramel i uh, started saying the same thing that i was checking my notes to make sure i should say should see that um, but it's very i think more than light caramel i mm -hmm. like the little dark kind of sweetness in it mm -hmm. um i mean it's Beautifully easy to drink. Biscuit crust flavor, they said. Hot that aroma, mild hot bite. This is very mild if there's oh. any, I wouldn't call it a hot bite at all, actually. It's no, hot. It, there is some hops like any beer. I, like to balance to balance it out. Right, because we right. know what it's like without hops. So this the the, the 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 hops and the malt balance out to just make it well rounded. And um uh, Somewhere between light and moderate on the mouthfeel. It's a little more substantial than just a clean freshness. It lingers a little bit, mm -hmm. uh -huh. but, but not much. It's it not, it not even a moderate mouthfeel or heaviness. But. I mean, I, I, I would almost say this is like a, a, a brown amber mixture. It might be. You know, something, something in between. I would, I would think. Which might mean that's why it's a new style. It's not anything we've traditionally known, and that's why we're struggling a little bit with the description because it's a little different than it's it's like some other things. Mm -hmm. But in fact, it is a unique animal, maybe. Well, I, I, but see, I wondered about that because so now these, bre right? brewers are now mixing, you know, they're, they're merging styles. There's 140 of them out there. So they stop merging styles. I mean, and what was traditionally something is not anymore because they've done this. You know, we've had 
hoppy triples. Mm -hmm. Well, hop triples are not known to be hoppy, but and then you get flavored IPAs with fruit IPAs and all that. You get everything. Oh, what's that supposed, what's that supposed to mean? It just means that <laughs> traditionally an IPA was not right fruity, fruity. right or flavored. Okay. Right. There's all these different mixtures. So, uh, but this it, it, it is different I, in terms yeah, of. Right. I, I was trying to like. What am I getting out of this? Which is nice. I mean, it's, it's drinkable. It's great to drink. It's smoothness. Yes. Also like an oatmeal porter a little bit. The smoothness. Of right, it. but not as rich. No, not as rich. Not that's, as rich. That's why I was thinking, I don't want to go brown to right. porter stout. So I'd, go, I'd, I'd go brown the other way towards the amber uh, in that kind of a, a grain bill. To but kind of, the smoothness is more on the other side of the oh. nut brown. I think it's. I like the. I love the mouthfeel of this. Oh, I think it's a little, it, it is wonderful, whatever yep. it is. So let's yep. just say that. Yep. And we could talk forever about because it's, it's very interesting to us. A new style. Yep. And we could talk. We, we will talk off camera about what it really is. Oh, we will. But it's excellent, <laughs> and you should try to get your butt to the Durham. Uh, Bull, Bur Bull City, City Burger and Brewery. Burger and Brewery in Durham. That's right. And try some of their Durhamer Ale. And you'll be one of the few in your little beer circle who's had a brand new style of beer. And you can say you had the first brewing, the first production of a brand new style. Particularly when it hits in a few years from now, if he says what he says, if what he says is correct. Do it. Sure. If everybody in Durham starts doing their own Durham art, mm -hmm. you will have had the original. That's right. So our uh, kudos to Seth and this crowd for working this up and for letting us try it. Yep. And as always, for the NC Beer Guys, David Glenn will remind you to drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.